on August the 20th, 1998, following a limited meeting of President Clinton and six of his advisors, the world was surprised by the missile attack on a pharmaceutical plant in the Sudan. According to a September 1st, 1998 New York Times article by Tim Weiner and James Risen, the purpose of greater secrecy of the small group was to prevent leaks. This attack was somehow combined with an attack in Afghanistan aimed at Osama bin Laden in retaliation for two U.S. Embassy bombings in East Africa. They said that Osama bin Laden was then living in the Sudan. The article continued, however, that within days of the attack, some of the Clinton administration's explanations for destroying the factory in Sudan proved inaccurate. Many people inside and outside the United States government began to ask whether questionable intelligence had prompted the United States to blow up that pharmaceutical building. President Clinton came before the American people and said that in that building they were making weapons of mass destruction, when in fact they were doing the very thing that Brother Muammar Gaddafi was doing, making medicines and vaccines to heal the condition of African people. And of course, that would have interfered with the policy of our government to depopulate these countries. America seeks to destroy anyone who opposes her policies. Anyone who stands in the way of such policies that interfere with America's national interests, she plots and she plans to destroy them. I respectfully ask our government, how can you say Bashar al-Assad is such a bad man because he's killing his own people. When we have a policy in place in our government that is killing not only third world people, but it is our foreign policy, Secretary of State Kerry, what governments on the earth can trust us with vaccines, with food? with your saying that you have a desire to give them potable water, water that's fit or suitable for drinking. You say that you want to fight against malaria and the mosquitoes, and we are so trusting. We will not take what you give and examine it scientifically, though we have scientists that are qualified and capable to do that. The whole earth is in the valley of the shadow of death. And a pale horse that is in the book of Revelations, where it says death is the rider and hell follows behind that rider, that pale horse is hurting the earth and its people. In the book of Revelations, the sixth chapter, the eighth verse, it reads, quote, And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger, and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Close quote. Satan is transforming himself into some type of angel of light. 
saying he wants to help the world, while at the same time, Satan is a pathological liar and a psychopath of the worst kind who can never admit his own fault and kills without any conscience or thought of mercy, only what Satan deems is good for himself. No wonder when we say our oft-repeated prayers that we open by saying, I seek refuge in Allah against the accursed Satan. Paul, the apostle, in the Bible says, we war not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. And in the book of Corinthians, in the 11th chapter, the 13th and 14th verses, Paul says, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Well, who are these people, spiritual wickedness that is in high places? This is talking about spiritual leaders who are being used to fight against the truth of the gospel of Jesus the Christ. Last week, we talked about a Mr. Holdren, the new czar of science and technology under President Obama. And this man agreed with Dr. Kissinger that depopulation is of the highest priority because the resources of the planet are limited while at the same time the people of our planet are multiplying at a tremendous multiplication rate faster than they can be killed. And this is why Zbigniew Brzezinski said it is easier to kill a million people today than to control a million people. And while at the same time, the third world peoples are multiplying, the white population is diminishing in Europe, it's diminishing in America by the power of Allah God. Putting poison in the water to sterilize human beings so that the gift of reproduction which God gives to every creature to maintain and sustain and reproduce itself, that very process is being killed by food that we need to eat, water that we need to drink, poison in the air that we need to breathe and poison in the earth that is under our foot to produce what we put in our mouths as food and as seeds for planting. Yes, even the seeds too are poisoned. And in next week's broadcast, we will mention Monsanto and DuPont and what they're doing to seeds. In the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's monumental book, how to Eat to Live, Book One. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad wrote over 50 years ago about the dangers of chemical sterilants and additives being put in our water and food. Oh, by the way, all of you, if you don't have this book, why don't you write to us and get a copy of it. And if you have it, take it down and reread it. And when we get into this book on how to eat to live, we will bring you the new writings 
from the MGT and GCC class of the nation, which will show you not only what to eat, but how to cook it and the nutritional value of everything that you put in your mouth.